Yo, 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 yo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tapping back into the channel. What's going on? What's going on? It's J Motor Barber. I'm back at y'all with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, this full tutorial, we're going to be talking about and discussing the lineup with the razor. We ain't talking about no enhancements. We ain't talking about no lineups right now. We're talking about before you even start. Before you pick up an edge or even spray any holding spray on the hair. Like, how are you prepping that lineup? Like, what, what, what are you. Like what 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 show to go to first? Like are you the razor guy? Are you the clipper guy? Like are you the enhancement guy? Like what do you grab first? But in this video, I'm gonna be showing uh just my process on how I set up uh the, the lineup process. I don't go right into it. I don't to be honest with nobody do I just grab razors. I mean just grab the clippers and just go ahead and start lining their hair because I really feel like if if the hair ain't clean and you ain't really did like a preliminary lineup on it. It ain't really just gonna be as sharp and it ain't gonna last that long. Uh, and I'm a barber, I cut my own hair, so I, you know, to me the razor line just lasts a little bit longer, but let's get let's get to the video. Uh, what we wanna focus on is, when you're doing the lineup with the razor, you know, it's not nothing to be scared of, it's just, you know, you combing out the hairs and you know, you, you'll start to see like longer hairs and you know where the hairline's supposed to be at. So we're knocking off all those little hairs, so when we do go back in, after we put the hot towel and the lather on it to soften the hair up, the edges don't have that much work to do. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. And you see kind of, we just did a, just a soft lineup. You see how tight that lineup is already? We haven't even hit it with no liners yet. We haven't even put no heat to it yet. You know what I'm saying? So right here, what we finna do is a, um, it's a beard wash with the J-Mo beard wash. Um, it exfoliates the, the skin. Um, it promotes beard, beard growth. And it also cleans the beard at the same time before we put any um, gels in it to line it back up. And I'm just a, a big believer on washing the beard and washing the hairline or even putting heat to it or some type of form of washing it to just cleanse out any type of uh, grease, oils, anything. Um, and right here, the, the j uh Beard Wash, it's a, 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 a foam wash. You don't really need no water to... To, to rinse it out or anything, you need a hot towel, agitate it a little bit, and all this, the foam comes off. So what we want to do here is you want to clean it in a circular motion. And we do this to take out all of the oils that he may have in, you know, maybe he's been out working in the sun all day, sweating. This is how we know we're going to get a sharp lineup on it once the hairline is all said and done and once the cape get pulled off and he walking outside. It's gonna be a clean process all the way through, but we really focusing on razor lineups today and really just talking about that because, like I say, I think that's just a lost art of the barber game. Uh, everybody just worried about getting a new pair of edges and you know uh, spraying some 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 holding spray on somebody's hair and hitting them with the newest lines and taking a picture for it. But you ain't really, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know what you're doing if you can't really use the razor. What you gonna do when somebody tell you no clippers on the face? And you got to pull out that razor. Ten year vet, but you can't even use a razor. You're like a rookie, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Right here, right here, we do the hot lather. And what the hot lather do is it soften the hair follicles. So when we do come back in there with the liners and the the the, the razor for the finishing touches, everything is gonna be crispy and you're gonna see the ash line and everything. And we grab a towel right after the hot towel woman. We ain't talking about no cold towels. And, and when I do this process, this process, um, like I said, for one, it softens the hair follicles, but it also takes off the, 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 the beard wash solution. So once it takes off the beard wash solution, my canvas, my client is completely dry. I can then apply a uh, holding spray if I want to, but if I, if I don't want to, I can just completely just dry the hair dry with a blow dryer like you see me doing right now and once you start to see those gray streaks apply on the forehead that's how you know that the, that the canvas is completely dry and to achieve the best hairline that's what you're looking for clients come in from outside and i live in houston i'm a barber in houston texas so when we out here in houston and it's, it's june now so clients come in with, with sweat on their forehead you're not going to get a clean hairline with that the only thing you're going to do is push somebody hairline back so clients if you're watching this video make sure y'all listen if you're going to a barber and if he doesn't have that service to where he's washing your hair for you make sure y'all wash your hair man that's how your hairline is getting pushed back if you're going to the barber shop with grease in your hair 
Don't do that. That's how your hairline is getting pushed back and you're wondering why. I'm telling you, I've seen this before, but you have to make sure that you're going to a barber that's doing what he's supposed to be doing and not charging no cheap price because a, a good barber ain't cheap and a cheap barber ain't good. You know what I'm saying? So, and what we do here, um, apply a little holder spray like that so it don't get all over the client's forehead and everything like that. And we blow dry it. And, and then we apply the razor work. I mean, the 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 the, the edge edge up work. And then that's where you're gonna see the hairline kind of pop out. But look at that. No hairs are falling over this hairline. Everything is kind of already where it's supposed to be at. And what I'm doing with the liners is pretty much going back in just for detail work, just as they were intended to do. Detail work only. <laughs> Till I tell them to breathe. Now look at that. Bum. 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 Do you see how it just sticks out now? And we ain't trying to be digging nobody's line up, man. We one tap and we moving on. One tap and move on. And look at that. The fade compliments it and everything. One tap and we moving on. We ain't even had to do that much comb and brushing. And I see a lot of these videos out here on youtube instagram TikTok. barbers are out here giving lineups when they just got through with a client's haircut and you ain't even combing where your comb at y'all out here giving the false lineups and everything man and people just comment and liking on it i'm showing you the process man this is how it's supposed to go and if, and if you don't see your barber doing all of these steps man nine times out of ten you need to come to jmo because you're getting cheated i'm gonna just be honest and keep it keep it real with you like i say if any steps are being missed you getting cheated, bro, and, and you're being finessed. Like I said, now, a barber that really care about what they're doing and care about you, the client, you know what I'm saying? They ain't doing, they ain't skipping all these steps, bro. And when you're going to a barber that's doing all of these steps, you got to know that you're going to have to pay that fee. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to have to pay that ransom to get handsome. You can't be out here trying to give a barber 15 to $20 and think a barber is going to go through all of these steps for you because at the same time, it ain't worth, it ain't worth the time. And do you see when we putting the enhancements on, it's minimum. We not coating the whole forehead trying to make it just look black. That's not what we're trying to do. That's not the goal when we first started. That was never the goal. Do you see the hairline is already put in there? We didn't even have to put much on there. And what we're doing right here is the holding spray. Now, what the holding spray does is kind of lock in those fibers. Um... To where they don't, you know, fly away or fly off. But hell, they could fly off or fly away on this one because the hairline is already there. And that's what it does for clients. When you when you wash the hair, you do the razor line, and you prep the hair properly, a client can go home and wash this cut if he wants to. He'll still have a hard line up on him. You know what I'm saying? A, still a good line that'll get him through the week. But if y'all just coding enhancements in somebody's head, bro, just know that person has to wash his hair and you as the barber, you know the consequences of washing the hair when you didn't put all them enhancements in there. Come on, man. Stop cheating people, man. Stop cheating people. And do you see the benefits of using the razor? I think that's something every barber needs to like implement in a um in a regimen when they doing an edge up or something. You know, try to do a lineup first with the razor, then go back. And put the lather on your client forehead and lean them back in the chair with the hot towel. And once you take the hot towel off them, just see how easily the lineup can be achieved. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Look at it. Crispy. Sharp. Just look at it, man. It ain't nothing you can really... Ain't nothing really better than you sitting there doing the lineup and you know it's going to be fresh. You know when he go home and he brush this, ain't no hair going to fall over and let me tell you something, when y'all are doing these hair lines and y'all are cutting people hair, just know these people are going out every day, bro. So if you cut 20 people hair today, you got 20 walking billboards around the city. And if you done cut five of them good and the rest of the rest 15 fucked up, it's like, now, 15 people that went out into the world and exposed your name, said your name, said that you did this. Think about what y'all doing when y'all sending products out there, man, in, in the world.
Because trust me, Instagram is one thing, Facebook is one thing, Twitter is one thing. But word of mouth is going to spread faster than Instagram tweet could ever, could ever spread. So, you know, be mindful of that when you, you know, when you got your clients and you're trying to get them out of that quick and do a rush job. Think about all of that. And you have to make sure that the client's hair is prepped properly before they even come to. If you don't have a shampoo bowl, make it mandatory that people come in there with their hair washed. Because that's the only way you're going to achieve a good haircut is with the, a clean canvas and, and that razor play. Them, them the two things. If you don't take nothing from this video, take this from me. Razor game, razor work, and that shampoo. You implement them two into your services, I guarantee you can see your the your 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 cut level gonna change, your lineup level gonna change, everything's gonna change once you add them two into your services. Because without them two, man, yeah, them, them, them headlines just dull, man. Them, them headlines ain't really sticking out, ain't poking out like that. Cause I, I guarantee you ain't no lineup just crispy with just clippers. You show me one barber that use straight clippers and don't ever pick up a razor. Yeah. Holler at me, but you ain't never going to see that, though. And you see how I'm going back over? And I'm going to be able to comb this. I'm going to wipe this for him and show him, too, at the end of the video that ain't no hair's going to fall off or none of that. That, you know, ain't nothing on my finger, so you can touch that. It's dry to the touch. You know what I'm saying? And see, that looks natural. You can't really detect where the enhancements are really at because it's, it's not it's not darker than his natural hair, if that makes sense. I see a lot of people uh, that do do enhancements, and you know, you go out in public and you see somebody from afar like, damn, it just looks chalky or it just looks fake. That's not what we do in the, in the UC. It, it blends in. It blends in. That's a sharp line from afar. You can see that. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to make nobody's hairline black as possible because you, you think about that. Nobody's hairline is that dark unless it's been enhanced. And we don't want nobody to know it's enhanced. The only person needs to know the haircut was enhanced is you and the client. Did you hear me on that? The only person that needs to know that the haircut is enhanced is you and the client. Less is better, man. But the thing with enhancements, you need to know how to properly prep a hair before you do enhancements. You cannot just straight throw enhancements on somebody's hair without properly prepping the hair first. Much. This is worth more than money right here, man, for a client to get the mirror, man, feel they self, go out into the world, man, be feeling like they can take over the world, do anything, make a big deal, man. It's a beautiful thing to see, man. Like I said, man, you see, that's priceless right there. And make sure y'all check out Braveheart Fitness, man. Go follow my man, Braveheart Fitness, man. Make sure y'all get y'all fitness workout again, man. He got everything. Check him out. Tap in. Appreciate you.